All right, so here we are. Sarp has redeemed a 10K channel point challenge, and he's challenged us, of all games, to Shogi. Shogi I've heard of but never played. Sarp has just about learned how the pieces move <laughs> uh, and doesn't have much more experience, so it won't be, like, insanely imbalanced. Um, but we're going to figure it out. I've never played Shogi. Lee Shogi, uh, shout-outs to, like, the Lee game organization for you know making everything free and open source and fantastic Ooh, there's sounds your journey begins here oh god i feel manka s just like determining what each of the pieces is and distinguishing them from each other change the pieces set to not kanji wait okay will i get ridiculed if i change the piece set to not kanji <laughs> and before it's a completely different company <laughs> yeah they're complete it, they're like off brand is, is this like the true, will I get shit on for not playing with the original pieces? Enable not weeb setting. <laughs> Isn't it a Chinese game? I don't know if that's weeb. I mean, I guess they use kanji in Japanese as well. I just named it Lee Shogi for completely different reasons. I didn't know Shogi was Japanese. I feel embarrassed now. Sorry, sorry Shogi. Um, I knew that it was Japanese. Um, I just confuse it all the time with Chinese chess, uh, which is a different game. Okay, Shogi is of course Japanese. Um, enable non weeb setting. I know Mahjong is Chinese, but I also know what Mahjong is as a game. Yeah, turn it to different setting. All right, click here after you've chosen the piece design that you like. Wait, where do piece, click here after, Shogi pieces? No, settings? Board piece set. Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> um, choose the right. to do that. Click the cog wheel. Okay, it literally tells you uh, which which is preferred. Bottom right is that doggos. Okay, this is beyond adorable. <laughs> but I also want to learn. <laughs> The kanji for the dragon piece says flying chariot. That's pretty metal. Read the text on the right. You know, if you read the thing, it tells you what the thing does. That's good advice. On the one hand, I really want to choose this piece set. On the other hand, I actually want to like learn what the pieces are supposed to be. Bottom most one is the most chess like what like this one. Oh, yeah, but this is too... It feels like they're trying too hard. What do we got here? Oh, this just tells you how they move. And what they're called. This feels like cheating. I am tempted to... Oh, this one also tells you how they move. All right, we're doing doggo set. All right. Oh, the, the others do tell you what they do. All right. Po poison has convinced me. If Poison wasn't here, I probably wouldn't do the doggo set. But we're doing the doggo set. I got three stars for the doggo set, guys. I'm a natural. When some of your pieces reach or leave the first three ranks in your opponent's territory, you can choose to promote. Ah. If this doesn't become a chicken, I want my money back. Aw, oh, hell yeah, dude. Oh, do I get to... Do I get to under-promote? Is that what this means? I do get to under-promote. Wait, okay. What does the chicken do, though? All right. Now it can move in all of these directions or back. Okay. In Shogi, the player who goes first is called Sente. And the player who goes second is called Gote. Sente is sometimes represented by black color and Gote by white. It's uh, like in Go. Black moves first. Make any move as Sente to continue. Um, okay, we're going to go F6. Or 5-6. Five, five, I guess that would be E6 anyway. Oh, wait. They go from here to... Aw, oh, jeez. I gotta relearn coordinates. All right. Easiest game of my life. Uh, I believe that I'm a natural. Um, chicken is just the same as doggo. GG. Now you know the basics. All right. The king. Oh, it's a lion. If you fall in battle, game is lost. The king is rather slow. Okay, it goes one at a time, just like regular king movement. Okay. You're a black, so yes, the numbers are different. Oh, black goes first but is on the not beginning side of the board, which upsets me. But okay, grab all the stars. Aw, oh, dude. C 
come on. Can you move in any direction? But no, I, I got that. Thank you. All right. I mean, you don't have to take my word for it, chat. That's all I'm saying. You cannot command the commander. Hell yeah. Okay, Popo. The gold general movements might be a bit harder to remember, but you can surely do it. How do I get the feeling that this is patronizing? This isn't so... It just can't move backwards diagonally. Psh, thank God there are arrows, by the way. Oh, are there different color arrows? Yes, but there's no gold. Usually gold is like a combination. Oh, there is gold! It's Shift-Alt. Okay. Uh, so we have green, red, blue, yellow. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, all right, we're good. Grab all the stars. All right. The general, the gold general is just worse than the kink. Objectively. Uh, also black question mark? No question mark? No, it's just those, uh, those four arrow colors in Lee chess. Don't ask me why. All right, this is, this is. Nailed it. The gold general. So it's called the gold general. Together with the king is the only piece you can't promote. So this is a shittier king, except it's not like a royal piece. So you can go ham with it. All right, no, I get, okay. That, that wasn't that hard to. How? How could I score any less than maximum score here? Silver General, it's a kitty. Okay, so it can't move any horizontal or any orthogonal direction except for up. All right, so this, this one is like a bishop plus forward, but only one direction. Okay, okay. OMG Sumet, you're so good at Shogi, Dreamer. I mean, I'm glad I'm not the one who had to say it. Um, but I couldn't agree with you more. The fewer moves you make, the more points you win. All right, well, we got that for free. And we got that for free. Come on, come on. Child's play. When you promote the Silver General, his movements are same as the Gold General. Wait, are the same? But that's like potentially not better. Um, well, okay, I guess it's very rare that having these options is going to be more valuable than having these options. So that's that's fair enough. So now, oh, it's got a little fish, guys. It's got a little fish. Oh my god. The kitty's got a little fish. Holy shit. Okay. Yeah, no, I I, I remember. Same as the gold general. You'll see this a lot. I'm with you. Uh, is, are, are we on pace for like world record here? I'm getting through this tutorial in record time. Oh, the knight actually moves the same as a knight. Fantastic. Oh, it's a little bunny because it jumps around. This is too cute. Dude, I can't. I can't. Knight can also be promoted. His movement changes a lot after that. Oh, it becomes a gold general. All right. Is that better than a normal knight? I mean, I know you can under-promote, but... You know? Because, like, having them, it seems valuable. Yeah, it moves the same as the gold general. Yeah, yeah. There's no entry for the Misho YouTube tutorial on speedrun.com. Well, well, well. <laughs> Prepare to... We're going to open up a new category. The Lance. Oh, it's a little boar. It's like a piggy. Use it wisely. It's like a wild boar. Oh, it's like a rook, but just in the forward direction. Uh, because boars like charge. I understand. After the lance is promoted, it moves differently. Okay, so basically all the pieces promote to a gold general. Because it charges? Yeah, no, I got you. Uh, yeah, yeah. And then, oh, it gets a little bamboo shoot. Dude. All right, I take back all of my apprehension for this piece set. It is too adorable to not play. 
Okay, the the lance it's like a it's like a limited rook. Um It's just forward. And it doesn't jump over pieces. So that's good to know. The bishop, oh it's just called the bishop. Oh, it's an elephant. You know what's funny? I don't think that this is a coincidence. Like I think in chess the bishop used to be an elephant. Um, and there was like the elephant moved diagonally and the horse moved. In Turkish, the word for the knight, or sorry, the word for the bishop, peace, is fil, which literally translates to elephant. We call bishops elephants in Turkish, in regular chess. Um, so that's cute. Boom, boom. All right. Um, I don't think you can under promote. I think it just asks you if you want to promote. Sorry, that's what I meant. Uh, Läufer in German. There we go. This piece set is ad nineable. Uh, I couldn't agree more, to be honest with you. Uh, let's just. Oh no. Oh no, that's fine. Okay. I didn't mess up. Promoting your bishop will make it stronger and turn into a piece called the horse. Wait, okay, unique piece. Uh, new piece just dropped. Okay, so it can go. It, it's like a bishop plus in Chess Evolved, right? Or a bishop plus plus, probably. It got bananas. Guys. <laughs> this makes me want to promote my pieces so much. Uh, the Knight of Springer. Yeah, that's why in um, there's a publisher called Springer in the States. Uh, and it's like a knight chess piece. Um, but people just call it Springer because they think it's a name. Rook is Turm. Um, it got bananas. This is bananas. It's like a bishop. Well, I assume that it can take in this direction too. So I think that makes it a bishop plus plus. Um, Springer's also in Germany. It's probably a German company now that you, now that I say that out loud. But, uh, yeah, like I never made that connection as like an American, um, you know. That's also Dom. Quite a demotion. Like Dama, like female uh the promoter bishop also moves diagonally uh but can also go and square up down left or right as well dude best piece just a lady not a queen oh gotcha gotcha okay the, the queen is just a lady that's the queen in german i gotcha i gotcha bishop in chess evolved can only capture on diagonals no i'm talking about bishop plus plus in chess evolved Am I wrong? Isn't bishop plus plus bishop plus one square in the horizontal directions? Um, now Narik's got me. By the way, how's it going, Narik? <laughs> oh, no, it's not. It's move only. It's move only. Um, bishop plus is move only. Bishop plus plus is move only, but two away in a horizontal direction sorry i thought that the bishop could capture um yeah okay and then the plus 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 is a teleport all right all right all right you got me there uh i stand corrected well played well played Nurik. the rook is a powerful piece it's a giraffe wait so the rook isn't like the uh charger what's it? the lance Okay, so this is just like a rook. Um, this is a little giraffe. Wait, what does the does it get like eucalyptus when it upgrades? Grab all the stars. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, rook promotes to the powerful dragon. Don't forget, you can also promote your piece when you leave the promotion zone. It does. It gets like a, it gets a little flower thing. Hope not. I think that would kill a giraffe. Whatever it is they eat, I forget. I forget what what do the what what do they subsist on mainly? Um, like the tall the tall trees. Uh, okay, so this becomes the this is like the bishop, same as the bishop upgrade, right? Uh, what am I watching? Hey, void. This is Shogi. <laughs> um, this is Lee Shogi. Uh, oh. I, Wait, when you leave the promotion zone, how did we start again? We're in the promotion zone. 
I didn't leave the promotion zone. Okay, okay, so the best way to do this is like this, and then we upgrade. And it, it upgrades the same way that a bishop upgrades. It can then go one direction in the, you know, d directions that it couldn't go previously. I'm with you, okay. We optimized. Shogi, but you're a three-year-old. 5D Chess is his stream title, though. Whatever, I, I don't care enough. Acacia. Oh, yeah, they probably do eat mostly acacias. <laughs> Thank you, Minecraft. Uh, IDK, what they eat, but their blood pressure is hilariously high. Unsurprising. <laughs> There's a long way to, to pump that blood. Beasts are so nice. Dude, they're beyond adorable. But you're a three-year-old? I don't think you have to be a three-year-old to enjoy the adorable dr dreamer. Come on. Do, like, do you really feel that way, or are you just, like, insecure? You know. I need to know. I, I will judge streamer, or judge dreamer, um, pretty strongly based on his answer to this question. Pawns are weak, but they pack a lot of potential. Okay, it seems like they can only move forward. Pawns can also be promoted. The moves are once again the same as the... Okay, they promote to gold generals. The chicken. The one goes from a chick to a chicken. Dude, this game just puts a smile on my damn face. Alright, finish the tutorial. Chimpkin. <laughs> one guy in the shogi club said there is a saying, a pawn is worth a thousand gold generals. How is that possibly true? Said that a pawn is literally worth less than a gold general. It can become a gold general. Uh, but until then, it is a pawn. Alright. What next? Okay, we'll register. Let me, let me put out... I don't want to... None of these tell me the rules. Okay, shogi rules. Um, okay, I know how the pieces move. Basic play, uh, promotion, um, I'm with you, uh, drops. Okay, fascinating facet of the interesting word choice. Makes shogi a superior chess variety. Yeah, okay. Is the fact that captured pieces are allowed to re-enter the game. So it's like crazy house? Aside from maintaining the complexity, it also means there's no concept of stalemate or agreed draws. A player with one or more captured pieces can opt to drop a captured piece onto the board instead of moving. So it's literally crazy house. But by default, um, pieces drop in the unpromoted state. Ah, although they can be promoted in subsequent moves according to the usual rules. Um, piece cannot be dropped on a square from which it would never have a legal move. Can you place, yeah, can be re-entered to any vacant square. You can't drop a piece onto the back rank. Um, or a knight on either of the two last rows. Oh, knights can't move backwards. That's good to know. A player cannot drop a pawn into a file where there's already an unpromoted pawn. You can't double your pawns. Makes sense. Pawns can't capture diagonally. Uh, <laughs> you cannot drop a pawn in a file that already has a pawn. Yeah, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Pawn cannot be dropped in front of a king in such a way that it would cause the king to become checkmated. Okay, you can't airdrop checkmate with a pawn. Finishing, checkmate. When a piece is moved such that a player's king cannot avoid being captured, checkmate, yep. Once it is believed the opposing player will inevitably win, a player will normally resign to save time. Yeah, okay, I didn't need to... You don't need to opine in the rules explanation. Okay, so it's crazy house in addition to everything that we already learned. All right, let's just go. What time control, asks uh, Sarp. I don't give a shit. Let's go. You play as Sente. It's your turn, okay. We've learned how the pieces move and the rules. We will now play our first game. This is my first time seeing the starting board layout. Okay, we have a single bishop and uh, it's mirrored. There's, it's nine by nine, I have to remember that. Um, okay, so these are the chargey pieces, right? And then these, there are knights, but they only go forward. And then these are the silver guys and these are the gold guys. And if you capture Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing, but we're just going to play. P26. Uh, okay. Oh, I'm guessing that it's this number plus, and then appended to this number. Oh, Jesus. Okay, pawns don't take diagonally. Um, oh, wait, pawns don't take diagonally. Um, 
probably knights on the rim are probably just as bad in this game. Uh, so I suppose that I will... Uh, I don't want to move... Whoa. Sir? Um, oh, all of these pieces move one. Right, I didn't think about that. Okay. So he's trying to trade his bishop for my, for my rook. I don't know if I want that to happen. Okay. This knight is undefended if I put if I push this pawn that pawn is also undefended and I don't want to give up pieces. I feel like gambits are probably bad because this game is oh these knights only move like this, right? Okay, okay, okay. I'm getting a feel for how this game works. Um slowly but surely. The silver is this a silver dude, right? Silver commander or whatever. Okay, I feel like I shouldn't worry about that. So maybe I just threaten maybe I just threaten this guy. I just threaten this guy. Right? Because he can't take. He threatens here, but if we trade, that's fine, because then I gain control of the long diagonal anyway. Uh, and it's going to be a bitch for him to defend this. I guess he could put his um, dude here, but then it's undefended. Okay, I'm pretty happy about that. This is the only piece that actually defends. Wait, oh, now I get... I forgot that I... You, that's how this game works. You can place... Oh shit, okay, now I gotta... Now I gotta think about how the fuck I play this game. Okay, I do, in the context of this defensive, like, structure... Oh, come on, dude. I think you're gonna get me with some of that shit. Uh, one of these moves defends... Okay, this piece is defended by this piece. So I think that I wanna do this, which defends all of these pieces. Oh! But he gets an extra pawn. Uh, like, there's no way for me to capture that pawn unless I put, like, a giraffe here. Um, I could move out my king. He still gets the pawn. This defends both of these pawns. Probably it's the best that I can do here, right? He's won a pawn here. God, this fucking game. Um, yeah, I can't place my, uh, my um, elephant here. Uh, my bishop here um yeah it sucks that i lose a pawn but i don't see any basically i don't think i can do any better yeah well, let's just do it we're i'm trying not to flag here okay yeah he grabs the free pawn um he promotes i forgot that he promotes okay that's kind of disastrous uh, I, f I forgot I forgot that it promotes when it moves out of this out of this like zone um, shit <laughs> okay I, I totally forgot that promotion was a thing that's fine that's fine um, okay okay how are we gonna play this what sucks is that that piece is gonna is he's gonna go ham he's attacking this and I can't push this pawn or this pawn um, because how do I defend this piece? I could do this. Um, maybe, maybe that's the way. Uh, I mean, I got to defend my pieces, so let's just do that. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, very, very first game. <laughs> so we're already on the back foot. He's got a monstrous piece here. Um, totally forgot how the game works, but that's fine. Okay, good Good to know that it's easy to check if you move the... Sh should have thought of this, should have thought of this. Um, probably a good reason to not move that pawn anyway. Uh, hmm. Okay, interesting, interesting. Um, let's think. Maybe I challenge this. Okay, this defends these pawns nicely and sets up for a push of this piece, uh, which I enjoy conceptually. I do have this dude who I want to make use of. It's going to be tough. Yeah, I can't place him here because this guy. 
I totally forgot that you could just promote. <laughs> you could just insta promote by uh, placing a piece and backing up. Okay, rooks do seem a little bit better than bishops, which makes sense. So trading rook for bishop. I feel like I'm a little bit down in exchange. Pawns don't take diagonally, but pawns don't take diagonally. The pieces look rad. Dude, that's what I'm saying. We should spam CTP asking him to code all board games in 5D. Dude, I'm down. I would join the... When did he... Oh, yeah, that's where the that's where the draft starts. Dude, Lee's got his little... He's got his little... His little leaves. He's so happy. Okay. Sorry. Um... Hmm. Okay. I can push that guy back so that I can push this forward. Why not? Let's just do it. Okay, we got all of these pieces secured. This piece is defended. This piece is undefended. Okay, pawn, I have to think of, yeah, the pawn push is very different in this game. I mean, for obvious reasons but all right now we we attack along the long diagonal so now he's got to pull his um kitty cat up here uh but he can't whoa did he miss that that piece is hanging question mark and now i've got like a super look he's got his little bundle of bananas <laughs> I'm, having, I'm enjoying this way too much I think he just hung. I don't think he realized. Um, I think he messed up. <laughs> just a giraffe going ham on a bunch of chicken, dude. For real. All right, it's pretty brutal when you put it that way. <laughs> but this is fun, man. I, I enjoy this. I'm enjoying this. All right, we, we probably just run away to safety, right? Yeah, by doing this, he's defended his little bunny. His little bunion. What does the bunny promote to? I forget now. Oh, no, it promotes to... Wait, but what's the symbol? I don't remember. Do we just go back? Oh, now we've got... Oh, this... Wow, this game is broken. Dude, it's so imbalanced. You can just translate like a... Like an advantage. Dude, I could just put this here. That's just so crazy. Am I the only one who thinks that's crazy? Maybe it's not so crazy. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I do have to put it. <gasps> you know what I could do? Elephant here? Question mark. No, trading this for the elephant's pretty bad, probably right. Then again, I could put the elephant here. Uh. Oh, and then I could take this with check. Is this good? Who cares? I'm doing it. I don't think it's good, but I'm doing it. Because then we can move this guy back here and then promote him. Uh, I need to pick up the pace. I'm low on time. But I, I have no intuition, so normally I would spend forever trying to like build intuition on the spot, but I think it makes for a worse viewing experience, so I'm just going to play. I'm just going to play pieces. Um, just wait for the mate in one. Dude, it's possible. Silver general law. Uh, is this website maintained by the Lee Chess folks? Uh, <laughs> no, nah, it's just called Lee Shogi by accident. No, yeah. The Lee Chess folks do a bunch of other games. I've played Lee Drafts before. I thought he was going to do this. Um, but that's... Oh, you know what I didn't realize is that this guy can capture... Um, but funnily enough, I can actually uh, just do this and promote, which seems pretty broken. Um, because these guys don't go backwards <laughs> like this. Uh, I, I forgot that this guy was defending in addition to this guy, but I don't know if this is good, but it seems like it's a massive pain in the ass um, for him. The thing is that this piece is undefended. So he's got to figure out a way to, to defend this piece. <sighs> then I grab this piece. Okay, 
I, I think we're in good shape. <laughs> we're in good shape, boys. It's two elephants running through your back line, literally. Call me Hannibal. You know? We're Hannibal and these are our Alps. We're just going hamburgers right now. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> this is, it's so, ah, oh, I, I just, I love the feeling of like getting into a game. Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry, man. <laughs> this game feels so snowball-y. Like it's just, what do you do in this situation? But this game does feel really, I, I love the feeling of like interacting with a new game for the first time and like seeing what it has. Um, seeing what it has to offer, basically. Uh, and sort of, you know, internalizing all of the, internalizing all of the mechanics. This game is such a scam. <laughs> well, oh, what's this all about? Is he threatening something? Certainly he's threatening this pawn. And the pawn is undefended. Do I care? I don't know if I care. Can I make mad plays? Does, I think this promotes to this, right? Uh, or I guess you guys can't see. Maybe I should, okay, maybe I'll do this for this. Whoa, I'm on this side for the first time. Um, it's, it's a little bit weird because now it looks like I'm looking off screen. Whereas when I'm over here, it looks like I'm looking at the game vaguely. I guess I could flip my perspective. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll flip horizontal. Boom. Okay, there we go. Easy. Easy game. Yeah, so I think that this guy promotes into this guy, right? The silver promotes into gold. I wasted way too much time doing that, by the way. Um, what am I doing here? I kind of, I just, I kind of really want to go in. Is there any way, is there any creative way that I can... Do, I think that the chargey dudes also go like the general, right? Okay, let me think. If I place this, the piggy here... Oh, it shows up the... Oh, it's so good. That forces this to defend this, right? Because this can't move or anything. Uh, so this guy here forces this and then can we maybe put a kitty here no kitty here uh and then force an exchange that wins us and tears open his back line why don't we try why don't we try uh let's fucking go Let's fucking go, boys. Hmm. Is it row eight four? Okay, so it's row. Whoa. That can't possibly be good for him. What does he have to place? He has pawns. Are you telling me that it's better for him to? Come on, that's crazy. There's no way that that's good for him, right? We're just gonna do it. He's got his bamboo. I just want to promote to make them happy. <laughs> um, all right, so then we get checked here, um, which I expected to some extent. Um, I think we probably, oh shit. Oh, that's the low time um, reminder. Uh, it's probably better for us to just move the king here, yeah? Um, at which point he gains a knight, but I'm not too concerned about that. Uh, so I think we're just in much better shape, as far as I can tell. Uh, he does pick up this piece. But it's like, whatever, man. Um, let's just see. I think there should be some something that I can manage here. 
Where are the giraffes at, man? He's got both the giraffes. I could trade into giraffe and then after takes giraffe here. Um, oh, and I could put a knight here as well. Okay. I think I probably want to capture the kitty cat, right? Let's capture the kitty cat. He pre-moved. Oh, shit. This guy knows his stuff. Okay. Soon we're going to go into blitz mode. Uh, so I got to be a little bit careful. I think that I want to take the... Or maybe I take this pawn. Let me take this pawn. Take this pawn and put the knight here. Like that. That seems like a good play. Right, double up our super evolved this guy into here. And if I can trade for this guy, yeah, the rook seems he's got two rooks, one upgraded, but it's hard to make the knights useful, it feels like. This is like one of the only places where I actually can. And it'll be nice because this threatens like it doesn't the, it's not like the Puppo is pinned to the lion, but um, or the gold general is pinned to the king if I'm using the vernacular appropriately. It is actually kind of whoa. Um, okay, so I guess we'll just take this like that. Uh, gives us another pawn to work with. If I can move this guy oh whoa uh okay here then i think that kind of solves my problems because he can't place a pawn here he could move the pawn here but then i could just capture it which would actually behoove me anyway um it would be great if i could go here so he can't place a pawn here okay i'm now on i only have 10 seconds per move but i think that we're in a decent spot anyway I think. Uh, actually, you know what I should have done is I should have moved. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, that's interesting. Let's do this anyway. Let's do this anyway. Because I want, I want one of these puppos uh, to put together this attack, I think. Hmm, now I got to think about how I can crack open this. Oh, I could also place a pawn like within, I guess he could also place a pawn within promotion range. Like a pawn here would actually be pretty good, huh? Cause then this promotes it. It doesn't have backup though. It's like unsupported. I could think about it. We've got a kitty. Uh, okay, here. Um, I think that this is fine, actually, because uh, then we take and takes, oops, and then takes, and then we can take, uh, and then we threaten takes. This is defended, so that's good. Okay, I'm in blitz mode, so I do have to, do have to play on my toes here. I hate playing so defensively here by just moving this, but these, I mean, these banana lads are like the basis of my entire attack here. I do really appreciate now how much better rooks are, um, how much better upgraded rooks are for like end of game checkmate, kind of like in regular chess. Um, okay, so here we uh, take here. Now we have a pupper. That feels pretty good. And then we take here. Uh, and then we could even get a little Chargerino going. Actually, if we like start snapping these guys up, I think that it's going to be a pretty quick GG. Probably. I mean, I don't really know. Yeah, I think we really don't want to lose these two pieces. They're just so valuable. Okay, that's fine. So here, the question is, do we capture with this guy? I'm just going to say yes. 
Uh, and then we could probably get, uh, I don't know, do we get the, how do these, these are the only two pieces that upgrade into not this guy, right? All of these pieces upgrade into this guy. Okay, wait, doesn't that do wonders for us? Because now we can capture here, it upgrades into one of these guys and it's defended by our, I should have done the puppo there because I'm, I'm going for mate, right? So like if he moves here, then, um, well, I guess I could promote, move up here and promote, but then I'm not threatening the that square anyway. Oh, we could put the knight back here, this guy. Um, okay, we're now on equal time, sorry. Okay, he's in check. I didn't even see what he did. Uh, oh, he put a he put a pawn there, I see. And now he's in check. Okay, uh, now, wait, did it not, oh, it did. Okay, now we place a giraffe here. Um, Okay, now we do this. These guys defend each other and now I can capture here and deliver mate next turn. Uh, so he's gotta prevent that from happening. Okay, now it doesn't, it doesn't quite work, but that's fine. Uh, now I take here, okay, and now we get this going. Uh, okay, and now we get, wait, what? This going, I guess? Oh, but that's not gonna promote. I just fucked myself. I just fucked myself over, I think. Oh, well. Uh, oh, no, it does promote. Okay, that's good. Uh, this is the most roundabout way that I could possibly have done this, I think, question mark. Um, why don't we, why don't we just start gobbling up these pieces? Uh, because I don't know what else to do. I shouldn't have given away my giraffe the way that I did. That was a bad call. Okay. Mm, all right. Now, now we're going in. <laughs> we're going. Oh shit! I'm in check. Uh, let's just do one of these. I could have put a pawn there. That was unnecessary. Um, okay. Let's just do one of. Do I need to worry about that even? Oops. One of these. Uh, okay. And now we do one of these oh man these guys are the fact that they don't go diagonally is actually really frustrating now all right oh but having one of these is a huge boon isn't it uh okay now we check like this and this is defended uh by this so it's all good and now we can place um can't actually place that is the frustrating thing okay now I have to do one of these. Okay, but I can I... Okay, I have to go here now. Oh my god, I might be mated hilariously. Um, oh wait, that's not defended by anything. Uh, wait, I, I could have captured that piece. With this piece, actually. What is... Okay, so here... Well, this is turning into a real clusterfuck here at the very end. No, uh, that was silly of me. Um, I gave up such an advantage there. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> that was really silly. Oh, I misplayed so much under time pressure. Oh, man. I, I think that, I mean, I don't know how the evaluation works in this game, but I was probably, like, up, like, a lot. Um, <laughs> so, let's see. Uh, I like the pup and chick assets. Yeah, they're adorable. Um, yeah, Sonoy's trying to give me advice while I'm playing the game. Uh, which, you know, A, I didn't have the time to read, but B, that's also just generally not cool. You can't place pawns on files that already have pawns. Yeah, okay, that, that's what I was forgetting in terms of, like, where I was placing my pieces. But, yeah, his dog there, when he, when he placed his dog here, or his golden general, commander or whatever, uh, I could have just taken here and after recapture is taken back. Actually, I could have taken here and recapture is taken back here. Um, I think I was just confused because, like, on first glance, there isn't a color difference between your pieces and the opponent's pieces. They're upside down. And I was like, I don't know which of these pieces is mine. Uh, and I just, like, looked for legal moves with my king in 10 seconds. But, 
Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that there was a better way. Whatever, we'll get him in game two. Um, these challenges are a best of three, uh, as everyone knows. That's just how it goes. Um, does the Shogi thing have analysis tools? I'd be amazed if it didn't. Yeah, it must for sure. Um, will you play a team game today? Yeah, I hope so. Hope we can play the team game today. Um, spoiler, he flags. Uh, actually, we got checkmated, so it wasn't a flag to be fair. Um, can't place pawns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you can't put pawns on files that already have pawns. No, I got you. So no, with the caps lock. Um, GG sub. All right. That ending was quite something. Okay. That was a fantastic first game. Uh, famously, uh, these challenges are best of threes. So let's go. So was a pawn worth a thousand gold generals? I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh, I gave you some seconds somewhere along the way. Oh, I didn't even notice. I was too, um, oh yeah, he gave me 15 seconds. Oh, you're, you're too kind, Sarf. You're too kind. Yeah, analysis. Let's see if I was actually, um, let, let's see if I was actually ahead here. Game over, fairy stockfish. Uh, okay, what's the evaluation? Let's see, so we're minus, because we went first. Uh, no, no, we're, we're, we're plus, because uh, we went first. Okay, evaluation's going all over the place, tell you what. Uh, all right. So here I, I felt like I was really fucking up. When he hung his, um, his, what's it called? Charger, the, this guy? I forget what this guy's called, but. I think this next move, the evaluation, yeah, evaluation probably goes up right here. Um, all right, so now we're ahead, but how far ahead were we? Dude, the evaluation really jumps all over the place. It's kind of crazy. Lance, that's what it's called, the Lance. That's the one. Yeah, thanks. Um, all right, here, okay, I was debating whether I should have retreated here, actually. So it's good to know that I should have. This felt irresponsible, but it felt fun. But then I think, yeah, the ability to promote here, and then we were in a better spot. Although the evaluation is not too crazy. Okay, here we got the free... Okay, okay, now I have an advantage that I squandered. Plus 10 means something a lot different in this game than it does in the other game, but looking at the bar, I can kind of translate between like chess evaluation and shogi evaluation. All right, yeah, there. Okay, now it's looking a little bit more one-sided. Uh, oh, I probably should have picked that up because the piece was pinned. Ah, okay, well, listen. Hindsight is 2020. <laughs> I've, I now realize that these three pawns are actually incredibly important because, like, I moved this pawn early and that let him place his giraffe there, his, his rook, and that was, like, incredibly strong. So now, now I know that these three pieces should be, like, heavily fortified. Um, yeah, what, what did I do instead? Oh, I placed my charger here. I was still super far ahead. All right, okay. Wow. All right. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, because we got the piece. Okay, well, I was supposed to capture that piece, so that's good to know. Um, I should have... Oh, I should have placed the kitty cat there, because then it... This is like a real shitty... Okay, okay, okay. Well, now I know. Yeah, I, I went pawn grubbing when I should have... I actually had the... Okay, okay, okay. I, I, I should have placed the piece there. Oh, it wanted me to go back to re-pin the giraffe to the... The rook to the king, sorry. Ah, this makes so much sense. Oh my god, that makes... I was... Okay, th that makes sense. Wow. Okay, now we... Oh, I should have just grabbed it. But why? Let me think about this. Is there like a show threats? Multiple lines? Nah, there isn't. Okay, hold on, hold on. Is this show threat? It is. Okay. So here I should have captured, but then what? Then takes, and then what do I do? Oh, just, I grab the rook and that's how I close out the game. Guys, I'm, le I'm learning so much. Okay, okay. This is actually so helpful. Okay.
Okay. Takes here, and then I did take there. I'm still, like, super far ahead. Okay, I've won the piece. Uh, okay, now I'm unbelievably far ahead. So I really do squander, like, well, okay, we're going back down to plus 30. Why didn't I, did, I, I don't take this giraffe, do I? Oh, no, I should, I had made an 11. I should, guys, I should have known. Uh, no, because you take here, and then he, like, takes, basically only move, and, you know, like, takes here, right? And then you just win, right? Like, with, with any of these pieces, I don't know, this is probably still, okay, apparently that's a losing move. That's probably what I would do. All right, well, it's not quite a losing move, but look, you simplify and you get all of these pieces to place. Ah, oh, I should have known. I had no intuition for closing out the game. I thought, yeah, trading this piece for this piece sucks, but not really, because A, you get the giraffe back, because it's always crazy house, and B, he doesn't have any pieces around his king, so, oh my god. Rookie mistake, guys, rookie mistake. Okay. Uh, I still, wait. Oh, that was actually the best move, to place the giraffe right there. Okay, that's good. So he places. Oh, I should have moved here. That's weird, I never would have thought that. But okay. I guess this is almost the same as moving there. Uh, okay, so where do I shit the bed? Uh, here, I'm still super far ahead. Okay, here the valuation's going down. It was with the, the pawn. The pawn was a bad move. I was under time pressure, and I just sort of, like, freaked out. Oh, why the fuck didn't I do... Uh, why the fuck didn't I place a, a knight there? I'm still really far ahead. So somewhere, somewhere along the line here. It's probably when I didn't capture the doggo that was right there, right? Okay, so check. All right, I placed the piece. And then the doggo goes there. I could have taken the giraffe, guys. It was hanging. It was right there. Oh, my. All right, that's, uh, that's embarrassing. What did I do instead? Oh, I checked him with the knight and blocked the, <laughs> blocked the bishop from capturing the... Or the dragon bishop from capturing the dragon rook or whatever. I'm still super far ahead. Okay, I captured with the right piece. Uh, I've got mate in 11. This was defended by the knight. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. Okay. All right. <laughs> that's, that's where it goes from... I have basically won to uh, made an 11 for, for Sarp. Oh no. Oh wait, that was the right move actually. Um, yeah, here he definitely could have taken. I was surprised when he placed this. Okay, and then we win immediately here. Yeah, I should have taken it with one of the... I don't know why I moved here. That was like pretty bad. Uh, whoa. By placing that knight there, it's back to even. Except I went the one place where he could trap me. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Right, because this knight, uh, I should have known. But then here, then he could, yeah, okay. Because then I go here and, all right, GG. <laughs> GG. Oh, man. Andre's here. Dude, Andre, you missed so many, you missed amazing tangents earlier. Um, Sarp challenges to Shogi, which is actually super fun and broken. Dude, it's like Crazy House by default. Um, it's really good. Uh, basically, you got scammed this game? Yeah, I scammed myself. This episode brought to you by the letter S. <laughs> Verb of the day, scamming. This set skin was the best choice, hands down. Dude, that's Poison's, poison's top tier contribution. Um, Verb of the day, scamming always has been. <laughs> yeah, all right. All right, Sarp, you take game one, but it's a best of three. I feel pretty good for... I mean, I feel bad for losing, <laughs> but I feel good for basically winning before I totally threw the game completely in my first ever game of Shogi. You know, it could have been worse. Uh, so let's swap colors. Now I'm white, which means I go second. Oh no, don't do that. How do I, what if we, wait, wasn't that our opening last game? I think it were. Is Sarp copying me? Okay, I'm torn between pushing this pawn and pushing this pawn. Um, I kind of like pushing this pawn and then get 
maybe flick the knight out? I don't know. I, I really wanted to just pin this pawn. Well, it's not really because the silver commander... Oh, the silver commander is no longer defending. So this guy's hanging. So this guy, this pawn is... um. That pawn is a hella pinned. So now let's pressure it, right? With our pawn. Uh, I don't know if this makes sense. Alternatively, we could like knight out and over. Oh, then again, if he recaptures with this guy, then it's a real pain in the ass. Uh, I don't know what the idea is here. Um... Because we can always take if that happens. But I mean, I guess that's annoying. Cause, yeah, we wouldn't take. If he pushes again, then we'll just we'll just kitty cat up. I believe is the um, formal terminology for that move. Kitty cat up. Now we're going to push the shit out of this, dude. And then we're going to go here and here and here. Uh... I got it all figured out. Our plans are slightly foiled if he goes here. <laughs> but then he's then he's uh, taking his gold commander away from the king. I can give some odds. <laughs> I have no idea how much. Oh, you know, it's actually a problem here. If he takes, then... Actually, I don't really care, because he doesn't promote off of this, right? So to, to what extent do I give a shit? He does promote here, and I actually can't do this, which is what I was thinking. Because then if takes, 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 and he promotes. Uh, and that feels pretty bad. So I guess we go one for one here and don't allow him to promote. But now we have to defend this. And I can't defend it with this. Uh, he could go here. Uh, he also... Okay, may maybe. Oh, this defends this. Oh, what am I talking about right now? My, uh, my rook defends my... Uh, which means his rook also defended his bishop, but... Okay, so now I want to defend this, and he can't take here anyway. So I guess we'll just push this up, yeah. Instead of defending it, now he doesn't have any, he doesn't have any chickies that he can eat. He does get to promote here. He doesn't want to promote here. Interesting. That's probably fine. We probably kick this right. We kick his, because I'll trade a rook for a bishop, or, a, you know, gain a rook in exchange for a bishop, like, any day of the week. This commander here. Okay, so this is, like, frozen now, because we have three pieces looking down this. All right, I'm not concerned. All right, we move our knight up. Bro, I don't know how any of these animals move. <laughs> Dude, we went up, we played the tutorial together on stream. You missed it, Andre. Okay, that that's what I was expecting there. Um... Yeah, no, that, that's that's the right play, I think. Uh, although I do have a little chicky that I can place now. The problem is I can't do this to threaten this piece. Because then it cuts off this, so then he can promote and then takes takes and I lose. Uh, but I could do this. But then if he takes, if I take, he takes back, so it actually doesn't work. I guess I don't have to worry too much. Excuse me, oh my goodness. I don't have to worry too much about that piece. Right? Here. There is nothing defending this. If we do this, we've got one, two uh, defenders, and we'll have one, two, three attackers. Maybe even get this guy over here. Let's see. If we do this, then that'll make it more difficult for him to do. Let's just do this. I don't want to get this. I don't want to overburden this guy with this and this. Now, if he wants to challenge this, he's got to play this up, and I feel really good about that. I do have a little chicky to place. Um, I don't have a great place to place it yet. It makes sense that you can't place pawns on files that already have pawns on them, because then they'll just like defend each other, and that seems really annoying. It seems slightly imba, and probably leads to like some perpetual like inability to end the game. 
Lol, I'm watching your game in Lee Shogi. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh, yeah, one spectator is Crazy Penguin. I see. Um, it's in the corner here. You guys can't see my face is covering it up, but. Change the game on Twitch dashboard. Why is the game of the stream 5D chess? Because it's a 5D chess stream. Who cares? <laughs> I mean, everyone here knows it's only for, you know, this one challenge. I don't, I don't care enough <laughs> to change it. This guy, the thing is that this guy, yeah, this guy's slightly less pinned than it used to be. Um, let's see. Do I want to trade an, an elephant for an elephant? I guess I don't really know. The thing is that this elephant is defended, but then he does this, but then he does this, and I'm fine. All right, I take here. I take here, and if he takes, then I just take. And then if he wants to do this, then I can take, and he can't take because I'm defended. Um, wait, but this, that's pretty bad for him. Actually, you know what? I probably take here, because the only way that he can retake, I think I take here. And then we can check him like this. Ah, oh, hell, dude. Okay, hold on. I think we're cooking with gas right now. Uh, here, I think we take the... What am I talking about? That's not the... <laughs> Sorry. I... My brain just farted, and for some reason, I... I had the crazy idea that this elephant was mine, which isn't how the game works at all. Um... <laughs> I... My brain just farted so hard. Okay, okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, but I, I do feel good about opening this up, actually. <laughs> that, was, that, that was crazy. Wow, okay. I, I, I had an intense brain fart. But I think that's fine. I do probably want to... I think I want to pull maybe giraffe over? Question mark? Mm, he's probably going to pull this back now. I'm still trying to get over the fact that I just thought that this game worked much differently than it does. Um, you know what we could do is uh, trade elephants. Well, which we can't because now this and then this is defended by this. So that's not how it works. Mm, let me think. I think we I think we want to do this. I think we want to do this. Uh, is Stargord still in limbo? I don't know. I haven't seen him around recently. Um, there's that shogi -esque custom variant that's pretty fun. 5D Shogi with multiverse time travel. I didn't know there was a shogi -esque custom variant. Same colors is really the only downside of this tile set. Yeah, it's true. That's true. Well, I just found out I can draw arrows while spectating. Oh, cool. I mean, I can't see, but it's cool. Oh, I made the shogi variant. Oh, you know, that, that actually sounds really familiar. Uh, I keep thinking, because of last game where we had an elephant here, I keep thinking... Um, that I have an elephant here, but it, I really don't. Uh, I, I very much do not. Um, what are we doing here? We got three pawns. This upgrades the pawn, but there are two pieces. Def oh, there are three pieces defending actually, aren't there? Okay. Um, could bring that down to, well, not really. We could spend a pawn to attack here, or we could develop our pieces, maybe. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I, psh, I'm running incredibly low on time. I guess now that Oh, I already have a dude here. Okay, I should push this up. I should push this up because now this is actually pinned, genuinely, because this puppo uh, is defending this chicky from becoming a chicken. These, these are the traditional Japanese terms for the pieces, uh, in case you were wondering. Oh, 
interesting. So I actually have to move here. Oh, I should have remembered that you never want to move these pieces. Oh, that was a rookie mistake right there. Okay, okay. So this is the only way because I can't capture it. Um, so okay, so now I get uh, now I get a knight. Actually, this could be useful. He's got a cat. The cat, the silver commander is probably more useful than my knight, right? Or whatever it's called. Uh, I gotta be careful, I gotta be careful. I think he can pull some shit now. Be great if I could get, I do have to be careful. Oh no, this guy is now, okay. Thankfully I still have these two pieces like this, but this guy now blocks this guy from getting in there. Okay, okay, okay. Let me think. Knight here is an interesting idea. But he's got two pieces to find. So boom, 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 boom. And I'm still losing. This cat, it's nice that it's stuck there. But actually, it's its nice that we almost have the open file, which he can close up like at any point in time. Oh, I guess that's interesting because you can't. He can just close it back up unless we've got like a pawn that's more forward than his pawn. But if he doesn't, but then we have to push our pawn. I didn't consider that. We have a ton of pawns. If we push our pawn, then that like further, you know, puts our king in jeopardy. So there's it's really interesting from like a positional perspective. I think we probably push this pawn, uh, and then he takes. Then again, that will allow him to replenish. But if he takes, then we get the elephant here. Uh, interesting. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, here, that way it defends that chick, uh, and attacks like here, and that feels probably good, maybe? I don't know if that's good at all. He can't take here because it's defended, he can't push here for the same reasons that he couldn't push below. Oh, and now his giraffe is out of the, uh, is out of the equation. He can take here, and then we take, yeah, um, but I think that that actually sets us up better than he's set up because then if he does this we can take and take and like yes it's check but am i that worried maybe i should be worried hmm. i'm just gonna take against my better judgment um yeah, i understand how this could be an issue uh but fuck it this is defended this is not defended but let me think about like combination plays that I can make here. Um, here, and then if it takes here, and that's fine. I do want to avoid, uh, well, I guess I'll trade a silver dude. Then I, again, I only get a pawn for it. And he sort of infiltrates my back line, question mark. No, I think I leave it there and maybe go back along the diagonal or uh, I do, this probably he moves this up or something this here we have one two this is probably going to go here in a second i suppose that this might be a good move and this happens and we've got this so it's not a big deal doing something like that um I think we have to make better use of our pawns. The fact that pawns can't defend pawns is really makes the game really difficult. I'm super low on time. What else is new? Um, so I kind of got to go into the think tank. Interesting. Uh, it's interesting that that just happened. Um, I don't really know what to make of that. Oh no. 
What do I do now? This is... Hmm. Taking here feels bad. Uh, but I can't... This is attacking both of these pieces. Uh, so what do I do? Maybe attack somewhere else? Hmm. Maybe it's not so bad. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing, and I'm going to flag. Hmm. All right, let me just do this, because I don't have time to think. And I'm going to get one of these two pieces, probably. Right? Takes, takes. Yeah, so now we takes. And now we've got a popo, which feels pretty good. Uh, okay, and now uh, we maybe do... All right, we're about to drift into our uh, time bank, which is okay. Now let's do this. Let go of one of our knights. You served us well, but your time has come. Oh, wow, what? That I did not expect. You can place a cat maybe somewhere, like here or something. Is that the plan? Unclear. This is defending this now. If cat goes here, we just capture it. If cat goes here. Yeah, that's a little bit annoying for us. But maybe we just put a dog here. Then we're trading a cat for a dog. Or giving away a dog in exchange for a cat. Uh, this is hanging. So I really want to take this so that we get two attackers onto here. And then I can trade maybe this guy for an upgraded this guy. Um, and then we've got a bunch of pawns to throw into the mix as well. Okay, if he, if that's all he's doing, then I'll just do this. This is pinned and double attacked. So he's got a... Def Wait, what did he just do? Uh, oh, he just placed a pawn. Okay, we'll just place a pawn. Um, it doesn't highlight the score on which the last move was made, I don't think. Or maybe it does and I just didn't notice. That's probably more likely. Uh, so now he's got to move this. But if he moves this, then we get this. Uh, and also we've got our giraffe staring down our rook staring down this file, so that feels pretty good for us. Um, now if takes, 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 and then he can't prevent us from taking here. Well, he can. He's got to spend some cash. But then this becomes mate, actually. If I'm defending this square, don't I have mate? Um, well, no, because the king can move here, so it's actually not quite mate. Wait, I think that this allows us to promote and also threatens mate here with a dog. Uh, and maybe he won't see that. Um, seems pretty good. Seems pretty good. And we can also always just capture here and that nets us. Um, we got an upgrade. Oops. Wait, that's not checkmate. Totally thought that was checkmate. How's that not... Checkmate. Can he capture this? Can he move? I'm missing something silly, probably. Oh, he had a... Oh, no. I didn't realize. Guys, I fucked up so bad. Uh, oops. Um, I didn't realize. I didn't realize that he had the giraffe. Aw, oh, that's embarrassing. No, I forgot all about the giraffe, guys. I thought I won the game. <laughs> I didn't win the game. I... I, I just used up all of my pieces to not win the game, uh, which feels pretty bad. Feels pretty bad, man, if I'm honest. All right, let's put, let's put a pawn there. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. These guys defend each other, so that's going to be a pain to get through. He's got so many pieces now. Oh, no, no, no. Um, okay. Now let's get a chicky into the mix um or 
a knight into the mix so he can get this chicky in here. Guys, that feels so bad. Oh no. Oh, I just lost a rook. Oh, that's bad news bears. I guess I should have known that that's why he placed that when he was in so much danger himself. Well, then I've got a cat. I do have a cat now. I don't think it does very much for me, considering all the pieces he's got. <laughs> the miscalculation. Oh no, I'm ruined. He's got a giraffe. He can upgrade his giraffe so easy. Wow, wait, I, he actually just won my giraffe. I, that's, I'm only just internalizing the implications. B based on the fact that he didn't like immediately capture it because it was the only legal move, I think he might have also thought that he lost. <laughs> um, I don't even know what my game plan is now. Uh, all right, let's just capture here. Um, just because. And then do, oh wait, I just realized that I no longer have, uh, everything's falling apart here, man. Every, everything is falling apart for me. He could capture here. Oh no, let's take that, nip that in the bud. He, he could capture here and that'll be like a real pain in the ass. Um, hmm, what's the easiest way to, probably this? Right. Just shore up, shore up our defenses here, and take here. Yeah, that was expected. Um, let's do one of these. Oh, <gasps> he's. Oh, okay. He's not gonna do it though. Oh shit. Now I've got to like. Oh no. Wait. Oh, I had a. I flagged. Ah, GG. Well, what a what an anticlimax. Ah, oh the misplays. GG, GG setup. <laughs> oh man. I I couldn't like, I I just couldn't put the combination together in my brain fast enough. Oh no, I hung my bishop somewhere. Uh, you might have. Oh, I think maybe I saw it afterward and I missed it. I, um, yeah, I, I was so positive that that play here with the pupper was mate. And I was like, why isn't the game over? And then I saw that your rook, that your rook covers it. <laughs> Which is also why, um, I mean, I kept forgetting that my rook covers my own, like, second rank. But man, <laughs> GG. That was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that so much. Uh... Thanks, thanks for bringing this fantastic game to us, man. Th this was great. I, I want to play more of this. This is, this is really fun.